Welcome back to Patriot Network TV. We want to talk real quickly about immigration once more. In a previous episode, I mentioned to you that the President of the United States, for the first time in the history of this country, a president has sided with a foreign country against the citizens of a state. What is going on in Arizona today with the U.S. federal government suing us over SB 1070 is a travesty of monumental proportions. The U.S. Supreme Court recently, the liberals on the court, were forced to argue in a great moment of hypocrisy. The liberals were forced to argue in favor of states' rights in an effort to suppress the ownership of guns. The decision was 5-4 and it dealt with the law on the books in Chicago. Liberals, who their entire career, the four liberal justices on the U.S. Supreme Court, made the argument that states' rights should be observed. I have never, in the 40-some years that I have, observed, I have observed the U.S. Supreme Court, heard a liberal make the argument in favor of states' rights. I hope when our case comes before the U.S. Supreme Court, those same liberals will be in the mood to make the argument for states' rights. As an advocate, of the Ninth and Tenth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. I want to urge every good American to support the state of Arizona. We are on the front line of a battle against foreign criminal invaders. You've been told all kinds of lies about the current situation in the state of Arizona. We are not racists enacting a racist law. We are people who are under a direct invasion. 134,000 illegals per month for the last 30 years have crossed the Mexico-Arizona border. If you are a farmer on the southern border of the state of Arizona, you take your life in your hands to go outside your farmhouse on a daily basis. We've had farmers and ranchers murdered. Just yesterday, we had an officer of the law cornered by drug cartel assassins they waited him out, they waited for him to get out of radio contact range and they attempted to assassinate him. If you want to hear chilling 911 dialogue, go to YouTube and search Arizona deputy nearly killed by drug cartel members. Search that, listen to the 911 tape and tell me that we have unreasonable fear or xenophobia or any other problem. What we have is a criminal invasion from Mexico abetted by the corrupt government of Mexico, and now President Obama, to his lasting shame and disgrace, has sided with the corrupt, evil, drug cartel-controlled government of Mexico against the law-abiding citizens of the state of Arizona. This, in my estimation, is an impeachable offense. His primary duty as President of the United States is to defend U.S. citizens from all enemies, foreign and domestic. We are under absolute military assault. Citizens of the United States, I'm begging you, get informed on this issue. As soon as you are informed on this issue, it will clarify a lot of other things that are going on right now that don't make any sense to the normal average person who looks at these issues and says, how can this be? We are under criminal assault from criminal assault, military assault from an army, 134,000 strong per month for the last 30 years, an army of criminal alien invaders. Go to any of the websites that have webcams on the border and watch the drug mules trudging through the Arizona desert with 100 pound packs of marijuana on their back. Yesterday, the governor said, and I quote, the majority of illegal immigrants are drug mules. Everybody was offended. Oh, you can't say that about the noble, hardworking immigrant. First of all, these are not immigrants, they're illegal, alien, criminal invaders. Second, if you watch the video cameras, the webcams set up at the border, you will see these people carrying backpacks. And by backpacks, I don't mean little Boy Scout issue backpacks, I mean ropes around bales of marijuana, and they're carrying 50 or 100 pounds of marijuana in to be sold in America to poison your children and ruin our society. Get awake, get awake now. It's almost too late. The President of the United States has sided with a foreign government that is invading the United States. This is an impeachable offense. Talk to you soon.